Hello, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be using the Soul Render. The Soul Render is a dull assault rifle from Guns of and Tentacles. On the face, it's a pretty just boring straight shooting assault rifle, but occasionally, every time you fire, it might send out a homing skull. Now, these skulls are going to be the bulk of this weapon's damage. Now, I've never gotten on with the Soul Render. It's a very popular weapon, it's strong, but I've never liked it. But, I've only really used it on Moe's. Now, it doesn't really synergize too well with Amara, so I'm going to be playing it here on Flak, and I thought I'd do it on Flaccid. Now, this is a build, yes, the name, uh, now this is a build that uh, uses the Bounty Hunter to get the corrosive bonus from Interplanetary Stalker on any kill. This doesn't seem to be intended, but it happens. Uh, at a cost, we lose the movement speed from beast kills. They're weird, don't understand it, Borderlands Spaghetti. Basically, that, plus a Flash Melter, means that we have insane amounts of corrosive damage. Now, because the skulls are RNG, we'll also be using the Revolter to increase our fire rate. This means that we just have more rolls at sending out the skulls. And then I've got a little bit of uh, bonus radiation for some AoE. The spec is going to be the aforementioned Flaccid build. I have a video on this. I have changed it up slightly. Normally I'd run Dominance, but because I'm not going to be using a Reflux, I have respect into Power Inside for some extra damage. Uh, hopefully Rage and Recover will be enough health regeneration for us. And then I've gone lighter in Blue Tree. So yeah, this will be the first time I've ever using the Soul Render on Flak, so we'll see how this goes. Don't forget to equip your favorite torque weaponry!
need a pounce. And that just about covers it. So overall, obviously, I was immediately impressed with the power output of this thing. Uh, I was also impressed with how many crits we got. It might also be worth going with a bit of extra more splash radius. Now, I already have some for my artifact, but potentially some on my class mod as well. Although, I did notice that occasionally the skulls would fire down at such an angle that I would, it would, they would just immediately hit the ground and kill me. Uh, so that wasn't too ideal. Also, I did notice on a few occasions the problem I had with this weapon the last time I used it was the fact that sometimes you just go an entire magazine without a skull. Now, being able to use the Revolter here on flank did definitely help with that. We were able to burn through magazines much quicker, which is something I was unable to do on Moe's. So, yeah, I, overall, very cool. I'll, I'll keep it on the character and to the main rotation. Um, yeah, Soul Render, quite good. I see why people like it. Still probably not one of my favorites, but uh, yeah, it'll definitely stay on the character. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay awesome. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.